The Crypto Mat AOV generates mats for your 3D render based on an ID type which you determine in the Crypto Mat settings. It's much more time efficient and flexible than using puzzle mats. Add the Crypto Mat AOV to your AOV manager. Select the Crypto Mat and under ID type make sure object name is chosen. There are four different ID types. Object name, material name, redshift object ID, and user attribute. For this tutorial, we'll go over how to use the object name ID type. The object name ID type uses the object naming conventions to build individual unique mats based on object names. If you're rendering multi-layer EXRs, turn off multi-pass output for the crypto mat and make sure that direct output is enabled. Import your render and the crypto mat sequence into After Effects. Add them both to the same composition and apply the crypto mat effect to the mat layer. Now click the layer parameter and hit OK on the box that appears. With the effect selected in the effects controls panel, right click the object you would like to create a mat for. If you need to select several objects, hold shift and right click each object to add them all to the same mat. Under output, select mat only. Now you can use this layer to luma mat the selected objects. If you found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.